Hi, I'm Donna Miller. I'm going to show you how to take the placemat image for Santa and personalize it with your own names. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider clicking and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is bring in your image into Inkscape. You can either copy and paste that in there or open it up from your saved files. Then go to Path, click Trace Bitmap, click the Live Preview button at the bottom, and then you're going to go down at the bottom under Multiple Scans, uncheck the Smooth button, and then click Remove Background. Go back up to the top where it says Brightness Cutoff, and just click on that Threshold button, either increase or decrease until it looks like you have the best image that is the most clear for you. Now, if you're looking for a copy of this image, you will be able to find it on my blog, millercrafts.blogspot.com. Then you will need to click the OK button and X out of that window. You will need to click and drag your new image off of your original. Hold Control on the keyboard and use your mouse and scroll up to zoom in. Then go off to the left hand side of your panel, click the arrow button that has the three dots that will show you your nodes. Scroll in so that you can see your nodes better. Click and drag over top of the old names and hit delete on the keyboard. That will delete out the names of the previous person. Now off to the side, I have this really weird line on mine. So I'm gonna click and drag press delete on the keyboard on it too. You'll see it over here on the F how it's a little distorted. You can also click on those circles and drag them in so that they fit on the F the way that they're supposed to go. To zoom out on your image, you want to hold control on the keyboard and scroll down with your mouse wheel. Scrolling down will zoom out. Hold in the left button and you can move over with your mouse and that will let you scroll so your image is centered. On the left hand side of your toolbars, you'll see an A. So you want to click on that and then you can type your names in that you want. So you can see I'm typing in Paisley and Noah. It is not the correct font that I want though. So we're going to click and drag over top of that. Go up to the top click the down arrow and scroll down and you will find a font that says Grinched. That's the font that they used for the placemat. You can find the Grinched font on dafont.com. You can find a tutorial on how to download the fonts and get them into Inkscape under the fonts tab under my playlist. So now you need to go to the top and click on path and click the first option that says object to path. That will give your name some nodes so that your cutting machine knows exactly where to cut at. So now we're going to go ahead and click across our entire image and drag across the entire thing so that all of it is selected. You may need to click the arrow on the left hand tab so that you can use the selection button. Then go up to Object and go down and hit Group. So now we're ready to go ahead and save our image. So we will go under File and click down where it says Save As. And then you can save this as anything that you want it to be called. I'm just going to call it Santa Placemat. Now we're ready to go ahead and bring our image into Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to hit Upload and Browse. And I'm always going to get that error message. I just hit continue and it works every single time. So I don't even read what it says. Name this as whatever you want and make sure you put enough tags in it. So when you go to search, you can find it later on too. So once your image is brought into Cricut Design Space, you're gonna notice it's missing. And that's a problem that will happen every single time. Go up to position where it has the X and you need to change that to something like five or six. Your image is always there. It's just way far off to the left that it's off the screen. Now you will need to size this to fit your placemat and then go up to make it. 
And if you look, everything that was there originally is in the right space. But if you look at our letters for our names, they are not in the correct space. So to correct that, you need to click on the whole thing. And at the bottom, you need to click on weld. Then when you go back into make it, your names will come up just perfect. Now, if you're using iron on, make sure that you mirror your image for your cut. So to get started, I'm using the Cricut Easy Press 2, and I'm also using the Cricut Easy Press mat that you can buy with it, which I definitely recommend. I always get better results when I'm using that mat. My actual placemat that I'm using is from Walmart. This is their Mainstays name brand. I do recommend that name brand. I think it works really well. So you want to preheat your item that you are using for about 10 to 15 seconds before you start your project. This will get rid of any moisture that may be left and will allow your HTV or your iron on to adhere better. You always want to lint roll your item, especially if you have dogs or cats in the house. It will get underneath the HTV and then it will look a little awkward because you'll be able to see that little hair coming through it. So now you want to line up your iron on onto your placemat. You could either use a ruler to line this up or you can just eyeball it to line it up. Since I'm using Caesar Easy Weed, I want to use the settings that Caesar recommends instead of the Cricut recommendations. And theirs is 305 degrees for 15 seconds. So that's what I'm going to use. So since my Easy Press did not fit across the entire thing, I'm going to have to do the other side now and press it for 15 seconds. Now you want to turn over your placemat and you want to press on the back on each side of it for 15 seconds each. Now you want to make sure that your transparency tape is warm to the touch and then you want to slowly pull down on your transparency tape. You do want to make sure that it is not too hot because if it's really hot when you pull down then your vinyl will have more of a tendency to wrinkle or at least that's what I've noticed in my experience. As I'm pulling away on this, you notice at the bottom that I am struggling to get this off. If you struggle and it's on the reindeer part at the bottom and it just will not come off. So if you struggle with that, do not force the vinyl to come off. You want to go ahead and press all of your transfer tape back down and then you want to reheat the area that is not coming off from the transparency tape. So for me, it was the end part on reindeer. So I'm going to heat that bottom part up for another 15 seconds. So now that I waited till that was warm to the touch, I'm going to go ahead and pull back the transparency paper and it will come off just fine. If it doesn't, then just lay it down again and reheat it again. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you learned something new. Let me know in the comments down below if you made one of these for a friend or one of your family members and how it turned out. So I hope that you like this video. Please click and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything.